Hey, what's up guys? This is Sean from Platinum Window Tinting, and today I'm going to show you how to tint a door window on a Jeep without removing the door panel. Alright, now let's get right down to the good stuff right away. Uh, since all my other, my other videos go over all of the techniques, right now I'm just going to show you how to do this. So, the window is already prepped. We have our window tint and our spray bottle with soapy water in it. We'll soap up the, the window. And lay out our film for the rough cut. Now this Jeep's getting 20% all around. Once you have a rough cut of your tint, spray the outside and line up your bottom edge with overlapping on each side, front and back. The first thing you're going to want to do is cut the front edge. Always rip the tint away from the film so you don't tear into the film. Once you cut that front edge, you're going to want to lift the front edge up and slot it over the plastic where the mirror molding is, about a quarter inch to a half an inch. About a quarter, quarter inch is enough. Once that's overlapped about a quarter inch, you want to leave a hairline gap across the bottom. This will give you room to shrink out the fingers in the window film, allowing the water to dissipate through the bottom. Once you have a hairline gap across the bottom and a quarter inch hanging over the front, you want to squeegee out the film. Now when you're squeegeeing, you want to squeegee at the top and bring down the sides. Doing this will allow the fingers to be straight up and down so that you can shrink them. Now we're going to take our heat gun with our gold card, it's a Teflon card, and we're going to heat the fingers to shrink them. Now you want to make sure that you're not applying heat in one spot for more than about five seconds. You want to keep the heat gun moving back and forth so you don't melt this rubber. Now, if you haven't done so already, you can cut the back edge. Sometimes you can start from the bottom and go up. On these Jeeps, I like to go from the top and come down. Just make sure that when you're starting at the top, the film is pushed all the way into the edge and the razor is in there before you push the blade out. On this typical Jeep, you don't want to start, you don't want to cut from the top all the way at the top edge. There is a bend in the window here. I like to start right before it bends. Okay, now we're gonna roll down the window to cut the top edge. Before I roll down the window, I like to cut the excess film off. You wanna leave at least an inch to a half an inch overhanging onto the paint so that when you roll the window down, there is extra film to cut off. You're not cutting into the window. You grab from the back, release the bottom, from behind the gasket if it is behind there from shrinking and pull it away. At the same time on this Jeep we have the window switches that are in the center console so it makes it hard for one person to do. So what I'm going to do, do here is show you one of my techniques. Spray the outside of the window, fold the film up, don't crease it here, just overlay it onto the top here and then take one of your squeegees and just squeegee it into place so that it doesn't fall down. Now you, you want to do this quickly because once you let go of this, it will start to pull away and then fall down. So I'm going to do this very quickly here. I'm going to squeegee on and then tap the window down a little bit. Now once the window's rolled down enough and you have about two to three inches on the top to give you enough area to cut, you want to let that bottom piece down and lightly squeegee across the top so you have a nice flat piece of film to cut. If the film isn't mounted against the window on the top and you go to cut, it could pull away and make an uneven cut on the top. Now always make sure when you're cutting the top edge you have a fresh razor blade. If you have to, take the time to take the blade out and put a brand new one in. If not, look at your blade, look for a nice consistent edge. If it's not consistent, Break it away if you have a breakaway razor. All right, now let's cut, cut this top edge. I'm gonna stick the razor in the top. And do nice, consistent, even pressure, pressure. 
end angle all the way down. Don't stop. If you stop, it gives it a chance to make a um, jittery edge. Um, sometimes it'll look like tears if you stop and the, the razor jumps. You want to keep going. Try not to stop. Do that consistent pressure. End angle. And once you have the top edge cut, spray up the window a little bit with soapy water. Now I like to pull away the top back corner and then lay it on the film, on the window just like this. And then lay that front edge over. So now you have access to all four corners easily. Now we're going to round out the bottom edges. We're going to finish up these top edges and then we're going to round out the tops as well. So what I like to do is first round out the bottom edges. I like to take my finger and just use it as a guide to make a nice little round edge. You don't want to do a big round because on the bottom here you're going to see the um, a gap if, if the gasket is too close. So you just want to do a little round, just enough so that the window doesn't peel. Now for the top edges, what we're going to do is we're going to take the same card that we did to shrink it. We're going to take the, one of the flat edges, line it up to the front. We're going to cut the front first, so we're going to line it to the front edge. And we're just going to finish that line. It doesn't have to be perfect. This, this front is going to be tucked into the front here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to continue the top and round it out. Just do your best at guessing. It's kind of like a guessing game. And the same with this edge right here. Take the straight edge. Now remember this corner, you got to think about that when you're cutting this edge. This part is straight, but then right here it does curve a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that straight edge and we're going to bend it a little bit this way. Now you want to take, you want to replicate this bend in the glass here, this corner, onto here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our finger and make a nice round edge. Now we're going to lay the tint out on the window and prepare the win window to take the tint on the inside. So we're going to mist up the glass and the window film so that when we lay it on, there's no resistance to sliding around. You want to make sure it's nice and flat. We're going to take our squeegee and squeeze you all the dirt off of the top. Starting from the back, going to the front. Now before we go and spray, squeegee, spray the inside of the glass, we're going to wipe the top edge with our fingers. That actually collects a lot of dirt. Now assuming that you've already razor blade, bladed the window and wiped it down, the only step required here after laying the film on the outside is spraying the window with soapy water and squeegeeing it out. And then spraying another layer of soapy water so that the film can stick around. What I like to do on these Jeeps is I like to take my triangle, my easy reach, and as I'm spraying the water, I like to use the triangle to push the water into the gaskets. Because these gaskets are tight, it helps loosen them up a little bit. Now we're going to take, I use a Blue Max. I do not recommend if you're a beginner to use a Blue Max with a handle because it is a lot more unforgiving. But if you're just cleaning the window, that's fine. But when squeegeeing out the actual window tint, try to use the yellow turbo squeegee. Yellow turbo squeegee is a lot softer and it's a lot more forgiving. This, if you hit the tint wrong, you will crease it and you have to start all over again. Now once you squeegee it, Spray all the dirt down and then coat the window in a nice coating of soapy water. Now we're going to peel the clear release off of our window film. Pull it back, leaving about three to four inches of clear on the bottom as you spray up the window. Now when you cut the clear release off of the bottom of the film, you want to take a, a nice fitter of the razor and wipe it on your hand.
try not to wipe the actual blade in your hand, just the metal part to get any debris that could be on the blade. Now we're going to grab this from the back, stick our hand under, and lift it up. At the same time, you can open the door with your actual with your knee. And then when you place it on the inside, place the top right hand in first and slide that into place as you bring the bottom in, still withholding the front away. Once that back is slid in, you just slide it back a little bit more to slide in the front. Once you have the tint on the window, you can move it around and adjust it so that it's perfectly in position. Once you get it where you like it, spray the outside of the film and begin the squeegee. Always wipe your squeegee blade before touching the window film. This ensures that there's no dirt or debris on the, on the squeegee that will get onto the tent and then when you squeegee you would end up scratching the film. Always press out the top edge first, starting from the middle of the back and then middle to front. Once the film is nicely mounted to the window, you can bring front to back. Now, I used to use the Easy Reach Platinum or the Easy Reach Gold to go from the top to bottom on when before rolling up the window. I don't like to use this anymore because it is hard and it does scratch the film. What I like to use now is kind of like a Bondo card. It's a platinum card. Uh, it's a Lidco card. You take this from the top and bring halfway down the glass. This will not scratch your glass. As long as you wipe it before you use it, it comes out very nice. Then we're going to wrap the same card and a towel along with the heat gun to push out the top edge of the glass. This will remove water and also dry out the top edge at the same time. Now before rolling the window up, you always want to check the outside of the top edge. So just take your rag, wipe the top edge, and make sure everything looks good. If it all looks good, from there you can roll the window up. To roll the window up, when you're not removing the door panel, Spray the, out, spray the part where it's going to lift up, pull it away just a little bit, and then roll your window up. Now you want to pull the film away so that the clear release is not touching the glass anymore. And then you can just kind of stick the tint to the other part of the tent. So fold it over. Now you want to take your spray bottle and spray any debris that could be on the glass from inside the door panel or from your clear release that touched the glass. Now don't be scared to spray too much, but don't overdo it. Um, all the water goes where the rain would go as if it was dripping on the outside of the glass. It does not go inside of the door panel where the electronics are. Now we're going to peel the clear release, the remaining clear release, as we slightly spray. Now that we have the film laying like this, we're going to take our Easy Reach Gold, which I have, Easy Reach Platinum, doesn't matter, as long as this is shaped. You pull your front corner away, and then you pull the gasket away. Now that we've shrunk the film already on the outside, it's going to lay very nicely on the inside. Not much shrinking is going to be needed. And just follow what I'm doing to get the idea of how it works. We're, going to pull, we're pulling the gasket away as we slowly work that tent into the bottom of the gasket. Make the film as smooth as it can against the window before you touch it with the squeegee. And I'm going to show you with the thermal squeegee for you beginners. Always wipe your blade and squeegee downward. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking this easy reach and actually keeping it in the gasket to pull it back, allowing the water to flow into the door panel and out onto the ground. This will reduce the risk of fingers popping up that, need, that may need to be shrink, shrunk. Now once you have 
the whole center of the window film squeegee it out, you can take your Bondo card again, go from the top, and go as far as you can down. Now this is the part where we can use the easy reach on the sides. It's okay to use the easy reach, just use it as little as you can. Try not to use it as much. Get the front edge and then the back edge. Whatever the bondo card doesn't get. Now the final step to make the window look really nice and make sure there's no imperfections across the bottom edge, take your heat gun and your bondo card and push out the bottom edge and heat it so that there are no bubbles popping up. And of course you want to dry off your door panel so the customer doesn't complain about a wet interior. And that's how you tint the Jeep door without removing the door panel. No car really needs the door panel removed. The only reason I make videos with removing the door panels is to show beginners an easier way of doing it. Many people comment on my videos saying, you don't have to remove the door panel and people make a big deal out of it. It's not really hard to remove a door panel. It's the same to remove a door panel on a Jeep, a Nissan Altima, or a Mercedes E350. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video, and there's plenty more to come because it's getting slow for me. So I'm going to continue making videos to help you guys out for the next tent season.